Hey YouTubers. So today we're going to look at uh, putting a brake controller in a 2017 Dodge Ram. Well, from what I understand, probably can't see it too well, but the wire is right here that it plugs into. So I'm going to turn off my camera for a minute and I'm going to see how much wire I had to play with there, there because I want to uh, splice on all the wires and if it's going to be way too short I guess I'll order the kit and just with a plug on it but if it's long enough I'm going to pull that down and put some uh, pigtails on it. Okay so the wire was super short but there's just two screws holding this piece on here so I popped those out and it pops out fairly easy and now we have lots of access to this so we can undo that tape and uh, splice onto that easy enough with uh, with the plug I got or not the plug but the wiring I have so I'm just going to go look at the wiring details that I have and we'll start to uh, splice into that so here's a plug I got from my controller. Somebody's already spliced an extra length onto that. So I'm going to cut those off of those and just go here. This will give me plenty of wire. I don't want to have these in here and have to worry about getting a bad connection at some point down the road. So I'm going to cut these off, strip them, and then we'll look at mating up the colors. Okay everybody, I don't know how well this is going to work out because I can't really see what's on the screen there. Well, I'm just going to do a quick check here. So the way I'm thinking is the block is ground. So if you can see the meter or not. My hand's in the way. So that. So there's basically one ohm to ground. So that confirms that. I'll put this on voltage now. And I'll put the black lead on the frame. And I should have 12 volts here, which is what I'm showing, 12 volts on the meter. You can see that or not. So that just confirms that the wiring is correct on the truck is being black, is ground. So I have uh, a blue on here, which I'm going to guess is the proper color for the brake, should be blue. And what's left is this, which is the green. And if I put the meter on that, I should see nothing unless I press the brakes. And there, look at that. So we got 11 volts on there when the brakes press. So that's the brake light. So we can go ahead and wire up the rest now because I know what the wires are on this thing. Uh, red is going to be the stop light, so that's going to go to the white one, or the green white. White on this is my ground, black on this is 12, and blue is break. So I'm going to start to splice into this, solder her in. Okay. So I've got my connector all soldered in. See the joints there? Maybe it's on the screen. It's all taped back in. Wires when I said, you know, blue to blue. And the white one was the ground from here, so it went to the black on the connector. And then power from this to black I think it went to the red but anyways as I said before that's the colors went to those wires so now I can get my controller up and plug it in and see what happens I don't know if this thing will turn on or not there's no trailer on it oh look at that and it's flashing no connection so, 
or NC. I guess that means no connection, no trailer. We will have to look in the manual and check that out and make sure that's what it means. Yeah, no connection, I guess. So, that's that. I'll put my dash back on and then we'll look at uh, mounting that on the dash. Okay, well, there we go. So, remember I mentioned I put these two screws in. I just pre drilled the small screw and put them in, or a small drill hole and, and put them in. There's nothing behind there until you get up. You have to watch you don't hit anything from the ignition or a key spot. So, uh, just feel behind there before you drill. Make sure you're not going to come up too high. But I just use some really short uh, metal screws that go through the plastic easy enough. Ripped it on pretty good. And like I say, when I'm driving here, I can see down to there pretty easy if I need to see it. And it's also easy, it's within arm's reach to uh, grab here. So I don't have to have to worry about that. If I need to reach it, it's nice and close. Other than that, that's it before the camera dies here. You guys uh, have a good day and good luck uh, getting yours installed.